you know that we're in a wealthy city when the first taxi you see has a 50 euro starting rate and it's a Mercedes Benz. Welcome to Luxembourg. Hi, this is Tanner, Rissa, and Willa. In March of 2021, we left on a plane from America to live in Germany, a country we had never stepped foot in before. We had a goal to live internationally and learn more about the world. So far, our experience has been life altering. In recent videos, we rented out an entire castle all to ourselves. We take you with us on an exclusive full castle tour. After that, we drive over to Würzburg, Germany, a city located in the heart of Franconia and known for its incredible architecture and cultured cuisine. In in today's video, we are taking it international to Luxembourg, one of the top three richest countries in the world. Our first impressions are, wow, this place is very nice. Luxembourg is in the top three of the wealthiest countries in the world. We are lined with Louis Vuittons, Bonn, and other stores that I've never even heard of and probably won't even step foot in because I already know that I can't afford any of it. But today we are coming to explore, try to find some good food, and see what Luxembourg has to offer us. It's a cold day here in Luxembourg, but if you watch our videos, you know that that never stops us. We're happy to be here and exploring the city, and this building has definitely caught our eye. We were just walking down the street, we were looking for the palace, looked over and we we're like, yep, clear as day, that's gotta be it. This is where the Grand Duke and Duchess work. They don't live here, but they come here to work, and I'm sure there's a lot of other important things that take place here. It's a really beautiful building. This palace is here in the historic Old Quarter, which we've been walking around. It's very fancy here, like Tanner said. If you see on a map, Luxembourg is surrounded by France, Belgium, and Germany, and so there's a lot of mixed culture here. We've never been to France, that's coming soon, but I can already see a lot of the influence. Even when you look at restaurants, there's a ton of French restaurants here. The Old Historic Quarter is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, so once you find parking, just explore by foot, and there's a lot to discover here. From here, we're gonna be walking over to the Cape these are the city's prime attraction and what they are are underground tunnels that were built a long time ago but during World War II's were used heavily for shelters and hideouts. Right now unfortunately it's closed likely due to COVID and it's also winter time so that's unfortunate but we're gonna give it a look. Not far from the palace is this city museum and turns out it's a place where you can also go to the bathroom. That's what we needed to do and luckily it was close by. But from the window, it looks like a cool place. I wanted to point out a couple other cool and interesting facts about Luxembourg. So because of its location, there's those church bells. It has three official languages, German, French, and Luxembourgish. Luxembourgish. We never had heard that term before, but that's what it says online. And what I did see about the language is it is the national language, and it has a lot of similarities. It has a Latin alphabet. And as we're walking down here, you guys, look at that. These streets are very neutral colored, but I see some color up there. And it's really cool because they're like lanterns almost hanging up between this alleyway. When I'm fighting, would you fight with me? Would you dive in when the water's deep? Oh, beautiful. Are you looking at the view? Will is taking it in from her stroller. If she's anything like Mama, she's thinking, what a view. Oh my goodness. I'm not going to say gosh because I always say, oh my gosh. This is really incredible. Where we're standing right now is supposedly the best viewpoint here in Luxembourg. It's really close to the casemate. Make sure you do the little very short walk over here to view them. Locals call this spot the balcony from what I've read. So again, search that, Google it, make sure you find it. While I'm here and I've got your attention, I also want to point out how small of a country Luxembourg is. So I did some Google searching and I found that Luxembourg is similar in size to Rhode Island, which is really small for us. We came from Utah in the States and when I Google searched it, that's like 54 Luxembourgs that would be able to fit within Utah. If you're watching from Germany, that's about 138 Luxembourgs that would fit within your country. Crazy. If you were to drive from the top to the bottom of Luxembourg, it's about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes, which is crazy for us and honestly awesome because that means you can see so much within such a short drive. So you're on the ground more rather than in your car. Love that. And again, love this view. It just started to rain, so we're gonna head over there and catch what we can. <laughs> you cheeser. Knows where I'm going 
What I think is pretty incredible of this view is just to see how much rock and like old fortress is still standing today. The bridge that the train goes over is pretty incredible. The town square down below, the church, this river that goes through. And even without the tunnels, there's lots of towers, spiral staircases and viewpoints that make it well worth a stop. The rain is still coming down, but we are not stopping. This is what the view looks like from across the street. Again, very picturesque. You can see that main bridge, and that's actually the bridge that we drove to get to the main square. And it's a really high up bridge. <laughs> Open. And <laughs> Open? Hey, <laughs> Now I'm running, running through a dream. Should have done this a little bit ago. You guys, if you're gonna be out traveling a lot, get yourself one of them. Really helpful. We just wrapped up a couple hours here in Luxembourg. It's cold, it's rainy, but we've seen a lot of beautiful things, and now we want to dive into a couple things to eat. Hang on to the moment, it's turning into memory. We'll go where the wind is blowing. Oh, yeah. Hi! We love you. Hi! <laughs> it's not ideal to be traveling out in the cold. Winter is just hard because you have to pack for so many things. Coats are heavy, but here is your sign to make it happen regardless of the weather. There's a lot of fun memories, a lot of tasty food that can be tried, and just a lot of amazing sights to take in. So do it for yourself, do it for your family. Get out there, make some adventures. <laughs> To end out this video, we're gonna make two last stops in Luxembourg. One at this Chateau de Burglinster, and the other one at the Mullertal Trails waterfall and hiking area. Do you hear the birdies? Chirp, chirp. Chirp, chirp. A tree. In the tree? The chateau is only 20 to 25 minutes away from Luxembourg City, and when we got to the parking lot, we started heading the wrong way towards some hiking trails, thinking that was the way to the, the castle, but we realized that the castle was just like 50 to 100 meters away. Chirp, chirp, chirp. There were mountain bikers and hikers going up to the trail, which leads to the area and kind of like the forest behind it. Looks like a very beautiful place to go. You're the place where I begin. That's How do you say casa in Spanish, Willa? Spanish. Casa. Casa. And in German, Daddy? German? House. House. I can do that one. <laughs> House. Yes, it is. Honestly, stopping here is gonna be fairly quick. You don't need a ton of time to make it happen. You can walk to see a little bit of the inner courtyard, and then there are trails below that aren't exactly on the property of the chateau, but you can walk down into the city, and there's a cool church there as well. So, fun, quick stop, but I would say one worth making. Definitely. Now we're going to make our way up to the waterfall and the Muldertal. There's lots of hiking, beautiful mm -hmm. waterfalls, cool slot canyon. It's known as the Little Switzerland of Luxembourg. Hello! Hi, if you guys know us, we love being outside. Seeing cities is a lot of fun. Food, architecture, history. But when it really comes down to it, nature is where we love to be. So it's natural that, of course, we're ending out this video going to the waterfall in this beautiful part of Luxembourg. The path that I'm walking on today is one of many trails that connect this region together. It's said that a lot of people like to do overnight hiking. You can do three to four day overnight hikes. But of course, like us, we're just having a couple hours here in the park to see the waterfall and enjoy being in nature. When you fall in So Marissa and Willa stayed back in the car for this one, but I hiked and sloshed through mud probably about a kilometer and a half to get up to this place. And this is one of the gorges. It's, I believe, called the Wolf Gorge. It's very beautiful. The trees even have like this different style of bark that I haven't seen before. And the rocks, just the way that they've like fallen off over the years. You can definitely see the age in this area.
I just walked to the very back of this cave and without my flashlight it would be very dark <laughs> even though it's middle of the day. Once you get back here it's pretty dark. It's kind of eerie but it's quiet, peaceful. And it's like this big enough crack that doesn't quite go all the way up to the top but it's pretty cool. We'll hang on to the moment as far as our eyes can see. Just when I thought I had seen everything, it keeps on going. That cave that I just saw, and then two more sections of these rocks just like going straight up. It's pretty incredible. Well, that is it. It was really fun for us to end our time here in Luxembourg in nature, our favorite place to be. Highly recommend this area. There's so much to see here. If you're coming to Luxembourg, we wanted to mention a couple other spots that would be worth going to. First off is the town of Berdorf. Here you can find a cave. When we looked at pictures online, it honestly looked like a mushroom. Like it had like a middle rock and then like a big covering. So that looked really cool. Another very popular place to go is the Vianden Castle. This castle is very popular here and there is a lift to be able to offer great views of the castle as well. And then the last one that one of you guys recommended us is the quaint old town of La Roquette. Here the town is built around the old castle ruins and it looks really cool, worth checking out. So we hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know below in the comments if you have other suggestions of things to do here in Luxembourg. <laughs>